Bed Bath & Beyond saying it's still carrying Ivanka Trump products. The retailer was forced to issue that clarification after one of its customer service representatives incorrectly claimed that they were no longer carrying Trump's line. While other companies have actually dropped Ivanka products, like Nordstrom, for example, overall sales of her line have surged. One estimate says sales have jumped fivefold. Kirsten, your take on this and just even the backlash against Ivanka having a role, an unpaid but solidified role in the administration. I just think it's so hypocritical when people attack, you know, feminists attack another woman simply because she might not agree with their political views. I totally agree with you. And also the double standard between if this was a Democratic president's daughter in the White House, you know, it would be, they would be so laudatory and they would just be fawning all over. But I think she's such a wonderful example for working moms trying to juggle a lot of things. Yes, she has a lot more privileges than most moms who have to work, obviously. Um, but another great thing about Ivanka is that she's bringing to the forefront, um, it hasn't been getting a lot of coverage, some real issues that Democrats should be very happy about. I mean, that they've tried to champion themselves. Human trafficking, maternity leave policies, family leave, all of these things. And, you know, so she's really doing a great job. And I think that we should try to root for her to do a good job rather than as women trying to tear her down because that's what we're all about, right? Uh, celebrating a woman's right to choose the life that is best for her and her family and to celebrate her business achievements as well as her her family and personal achievements. And Bed Bath & Beyond, too, they I'd know that a lot of their market share is in the middle of the country, so they have to be very careful on how they react and respond to her brand. Well, and I think it's inst it, that it says something that Bed Bath & Beyond had to come out and clarify this and deny it because the companies that have hung on to the Ivanka Trump brand, they see upside. Right, It's absolutely. important that, that customers know you can still buy the Ivanka brand here. And by the way, Ivanka handed over the reins of the company right. to her CEO exactly. earlier, exactly. earlier this year, well before this role in the White House was ever solidified. There's a common thread here. You know, Stuart Varney talked in the last segment about how uh, investors are getting emotional and letting their biases uh, affect their decisions. They want the market to go down and it's not working for them. Well, the thing is this. Um, same thing with Bed Bath & Beyond and Nordstrom's. They need to make proper investment decisions. Why would I want to own a stock of somebody who says, I don't like their politics, so I'm not going to do that? What is that? I don't, right. It makes no <laughs> well, sense. And to by me. the way, I would point this out when people would talk about the stock market under President Obama and they would use. Um, the president say for a reason for not investing that was stupid money that was as well it goes both ways no emotion right. let's be objective i agree and by <laughs>